Hey, David here with Guide Recommend. We're going to go through five, oh, maybe six. At the end, I'm going to hit you up with an extra. So we're going to do bluegill flies. Five of my favorite bluegill flies. And uh, we'll do some close-ups as well. What are the things about these flies that work so well with bluegills? So stay tuned for the close-ups. So favorite flies for bluegills. So let's hit number one, dry flies. In fact, let's just go through them, dry flies, and then we'll also touch on some nymphs. So dry flies. I love Griffiths gnats, Griffiths gnats. Um, you can get these in size 14 to 18. Um, I tend to go with smaller, so either a 16 or an 18. Um, they seem to work out best and really flexible. When I say flexible, you can use these guys for, uh, you know, dry fly fishing for trout, a lot of things. So imitate a midge. So number one, Griffith's gnat. Number two, we're gonna go with an elk hair, elk hair. Caddis. So float really well. Um, elk hair caddis. Again, sizes. You can go 12 to 20 is a good size for your fly box. 12 to 20. Um, bluegills, stick with that 14 to 16. 14 to 16. Okay. So that is number two. Number three, dry fly. I don't even know if you can consider a dry fly, but ooh, look at this guy. So poppers. All right, so just in a minute, we're going to get back into my favorite flies. But I wanted to offer a couple things. So this video is part of um, a bigger article, 15 favorite bluegill flies. So you can check that out on my website, the blog, guide recommended. But additionally, even more important, and you're going to see it down below, is a link to... Um, a class, a mini class, free mini class to learn how to dry fly fish. So setting things up, you know, it's a multi-day class um, that I'll send to you for free. So check that out. It's at how to fly fish hoppers, All right? And be ready with these guys too, because a lot of times you'll hook into some bass as well, some smallmouth and largemouth bass haunt the same neighborhood. So poppers for bluegill, you're looking at size 12 to 16. Um, I like froggy colors. And then I also like uh, a lot of whites and blacks. This guy is like just beat up. In fact, in some of the videos, um, this thing has been chewed up. So favorite size, go a little bit smaller. Go 14. So that is the three, three dry flies we're going to talk about. So what's up next? I would go into our nymphs for sure. Look at something like a hare's ear. All right, hare's ear nymph. Uh, just a wonderful fly. Wonderful fly. All right, sizes anywhere with the hare's ear. 10 to 18, um, 14s, 16s are good for, for bluegill. Next one on the list, so that was one number four. Number five is the ubiquitous, all-encompassing pheasant tail nymph. Pheasant tail nymph, um, fantastic. So I will, another pheasant tail, okay. A lot of times the sizes you want to look at 12s to 18. Um, I will, and you're going to see this in my box as well, bead heads, right? Something with some flashback maybe, um, but bead head, pheasant tail, fantastic. Why do I like bead head, pheasant tail, or even a bead head um, hare's ear? Let's see if I got one in here. I do. This guy right here, bead head, hare's ear. This tends to sink the fly down below those little little guys up at the surface right there. They're chomping at things really quick um, as they drift down in the water column. Something with a little bit of weight, that little bead, maybe fish it with an indicator, 
but a little bit of weight tend, will tend to drop down past those fish. So last one, worms of some kind, squirmy wormies, San Juan worms. So uh, squirmy wormies actually work out incredible, right? Um, the only downside of a squirmy worm, they're not very durable, but you can get them if you buy them or if you tie them relatively cheap. Buy this material in uh, bulk, um, add a bead and a hook, a little bit of thread and you've got squirmy wormies. The other one, very similar, is our San Juan worm. Um, good fly as well. So please, please, please subscribe. And hey, in the comments below, in the comments below, let me know, should we go into some fly tying? Fly tying. I do have about a half dozen flies that I love to tie um, every year in order to kind of stack up in my, my fly box for the year. And, you know, it, uh, if, that, if you think that helps, I'll go through it. Really, we could even back things up and go into all the tools for fly tying. So let me know in the comments whether you would like to see stuff on fly tying. Thanks.